today. Let's, let's read Exodus chapter 15. We're going to go from verse 1 through 21. And I ask now for you to listen intently and engagedly to this song, which is the song of Moses, the words of God. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The, uh, Yahweh is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts he cast into the sea, and his chosen officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Yahweh, shatters the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow your adversaries. You send out your fury. It consumes them like stubble. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up. The floods stood up in a heap. The deeps congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My desire shall have its full, its fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty water. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. You have led your, in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed and have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. The peoples have heard, they tremble. Pangs have seized the inhabitants of Philistia. Now are the chiefs of Edom dismayed. Trembling seizes the leaders of Moab. All the inhabitants of Canaan have melted away. Terror and dread fall on them because of the greatness of your arm. They are as still as a stone till your people, O Lord, pass by. Till the people pass by whom you have purchased. You will bring them in and plant them on your mountain. The place, O Lord, which you have made for your abode. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Verse 19. For when the horses of Pharaoh with the chariots and his horsemen went into the sea, the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them, but the people of Israel walked on dry ground in the midst of the sea. Then Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. May God bless his own word in our midst this morning. Miriam took that song and she taught it to the, to the ladies and they danced with, uh, with, with tambourines. Uh, we see as she sings just the first verse of the song there at the very end, that is really just a way of saying she taught them the whole thing. They went through the congregation singing and dancing and teaching everybody so that all of the households of Israel knew this song. Exodus is all about God's glory in judging his enemies and redeeming his people. That's what we've said. But God's glory is not only to be, to be some objective truth in God, nor is it merely to be an objective truth understood subjectively by the people. That's good. That's necessary. But it is also to be truth, something true of God, truth known by the people, and then truth sung triumphantly by the redeemed people of God. 